Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wednesday, the 13th of April, 2022, of Holy Week. The soul that loveth God despiseth all things that are less than God. God only, the Eternal and Infinite, who fulfilleth all things, is the solace of the soul and the true joy of the heart. Daily Prayer God our Father, we are exceedingly frail and indisposed to every virtuous and gallant undertaking. Strengthen our weakness, we beseech thee, that we may do valiantly in this spiritual war. Help us against our own negligence and cowardice, and defend us from the treachery of our unfaithful hearts. For Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Introduction to the Liturgy of the Word When our Lord foretells his own betrayal, it is because he still loves Judas. It's as if Jesus is saying, I already know what you are planning to do. I know your problems, your evil intentions, your secret sins, yet still I am here with you. Since I already know, why continue in this way? It is not too late. And when the others heard the prediction, instead of becoming defensive and proud, they might have said, Don't let it be me. Lord, by your mercy sustain me. Give me your grace, Jesus, I love you. Judas' final betrayal was to refuse God's mercy, to collapse in on himself in despair. If we turn frequently to Jesus, asking for his mercy and for the grace to persevere, we have nothing to fear. The Epistle My face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. Third Oracle of the Servant of the Lord A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 50, verse 4. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue, that I might know how to speak to the weary a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning he opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who pluck my beard. My face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right? Let him confront me. See, the Lord God is my help. Who will prove me wrong? The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 69 Responsorial, Lord, in your great love, answer me. For your sake I bear insult and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's sons, because zeal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those who blaspheme you fall upon me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Insult has broken my heart, and I am weak. I look for sympathy, but there was none. 
for consolers, not one could I find. Rather they put gall in my food, and in my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Lord, in your great love, answer me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. See, you lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in bonds he spurns not. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Gospel Acclamation Marvelous and great are your works, O Lord. Hail to you, our King. You alone are compassionate with our errors. Marvelous and great are your works, O Lord. The Gospel The Son of Man indeed goes, as it is written of him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 26, verse 14. One of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priest and said, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him thirty pieces of silver, and from that time on he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him, The teacher says, My appointed time draws near. In your house I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciples did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the twelve, and while they were eating, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord, he said in reply. He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes, as it is written of him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Meditation. What are you willing to give me? Talk about lowering your expectations. Judas went to the chief priests to ask what they would give him in exchange for Jesus. Instead, Judas should have gone to Jesus and asked him what he was prepared to give him. Maybe Judas needed the money, but he also needed love and friendship, meaning and purpose. He also needed healing from the sin that was blocking his ability to see Jesus as he truly was. At one time, Judas understood that following Jesus could fulfill his every need, but now he had decided to look elsewhere. When did Judas stop going to Jesus for what he needed? Perhaps it happened gradually as the initial excitement of being a disciple began to wear off. Maybe he thought he had learned all he could from Jesus. Maybe he realized that Jesus was offering things he wasn't really interested in after all. 
What a tragedy this was. Judas stopped coming to Jesus just when Jesus was about to give him the greatest gifts possible. What was Jesus ready to give Judas and what is he ready to give us? Let's look at just a few of the great gifts he is holding out to us. At the Last Supper, he revealed that he was ready to give us his own body and blood, and not just once, but as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup. 1 Corinthians 11, 26 On the cross, he revealed that he was ready to give us forgiveness for all our sins. At the resurrection, he revealed that he was ready to give us the hope of everlasting life. And in his ascension, he revealed that he is ready to give us the gift of his everlasting ministry of intercession for us. Hebrews 7.25 What he is willing to give us is priceless. We are in the middle of Holy Week. This is the time when Jesus wants to show us how much he has for us. Let's make sure we are open to receiving it. Let's bring him our questions, our needs, and our longings and ask him to fill us. There is so much he wants to give and to reveal. Expect more. Jesus, thank you for giving yourself to me so completely. Help me turn my heart to you so that you can fill me. Amen. We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May his peace rest upon you as you go and announce the gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. Thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close as always in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Shirley, residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. Or if you know like-minded people like yourself that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours.